tarot readings and psychics are great for one thing and one thing only, and that is not telling you your future. But before we go any further, hi, how are we all doing today, my beautiful, lovely, powerful creators? I hope we're all getting our manifestations as we should be. If you are new here, my name is Erin, and I am here to help you live your dream life through all things Law of Assumption, so subscribe. Now, stop paying money for people to tell you what you already know. If you even slightly believe in the Law of Assumption, you know that everything you believe is what is going to happen. So why are you placing your power into someone else's hands? They are not the creator, you are. So you're paying people to tell you things and then you're manifesting what they were telling you. Here's the thing about tarot cards and psychics in general. Everyone is you pushed out. That means that everything that you believe is going to happen or everything that you believe someone is going to tell you about your future. And if you believe psychics are real, then you think that they're telling you what's in your future. So whatever you're expecting them to say is what they're gonna say. It's gonna show in the cards that they pull. You're just paying people to tell you what you already know or what you already want your future to look like. The problem is people get bad readings or not necessarily bad readings, but readings that they don't actually align with, things that they don't really want to see, and then they end up manifesting that because they can't distinguish that they are the creator, this psychic, this tarot card deck is not the creator, they are. You're going to manifest it if you give that power to your reading or to the psychic, but the reading doesn't actually tell you anything. The only thing that it can tell you is where your subconscious is currently at, which if you're manifesting for something, you should know that you don't need to be seeking proof and validation out there anyway in the 3D. Your repetition and your beliefs are enough to bring this thing to you. If you need it to tell you, hey, like where's my mind actually at? Like how much have I actually impressed this desire on my subconscious? If you really, really are wanting to know where you're at, like in, in an area like that, that is the only time you should be listening to the cards or listening to your reading. Tarot readings and psychics should be something fun. Do not forget that. It's fun, it's light. There is no set path or no set future or no set destiny. We are constantly changing this every day, jumping into different timelines, quantum jumping thousands of times per day. Every second we are quantum jumping. There is no set future, path, destiny, whatever. Therefore, any reading that you get is just where your assumptions are at in that current specific moment. If you don't like it, then that's when you know, okay, time to start manifesting, time to start affirming a little harder for the thing that I do want. Readings are only telling you where your current assumptions lie. So persist and know that if you keep persisting and keep knowing, you will end up receiving whatever it is. It, it will imprint. You'll even notice if you're doing these a lot that the readings will change as your assumptions change. You're going to find a way to make any reading match your current situation. If it's something that you're really wanting, you are going to find a way to make that particular reading align with what you want it to say or to confirm your situation. It's kind of like horoscopes. We're hearing about certain personality traits and ways that people behave, including ourselves, and then we're projecting that and assuming these people to be that way and that's how they end up acting. Everyone is you pushed out and it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. You don't have to stick with anything that anyone ever tells you about who you are and who you want to be besides you. Don't let horoscopes even tell you that, oh, hey, my sex life with this star sign is gonna be fantastic. My communication compatibility with this star sign is going to be shitty. It's all up to you. If you like someone, stop seeing them as their star sign. Stop asking what their star sign is. If you can't see it as just fun, a fun thing to do, then you need to literally distance yourself from it until the day that you can. If you are at a place in your life or in your mindset where you're letting outside forces tell you who people are or how your life is and how your life is going to go, if you can't listen to something and discredit it that you don't wanna hear, then you should not be listening to any of this stuff at all. 
Because if you're manifesting your SP and say he is a tall, dark, and handsome man and you're thinking, okay, this is my soulmate, this is really my person, and then you go and watch a pick a card tarot reading on YouTube and it says, oh, this is the physical characteristics of your soulmate. He's going to be a blonde, short king. <laughs> that does not mean that you've got to go look for this blonde, short king and abandon your SP or you'll never be happy. You don't have to go manifest this new dude just because you got a bad reading. <laughs> Do you understand? It just means that you need to start affirming more that tall, dark, and handsome is your husband. You are creating your own future. You are the only one. All that psychics, tarot, horoscopes can tell you is your limiting beliefs and your limiting assumptions, what you need to work on and affirm more for. It's great to see where your mind is at, but nothing is set in stone. And that's where you should keep it fun because if you are manifesting this tall, dark, and handsome, and your cards tell you that you are going to be in a relationship with this exact type of person, by all means, there you go. There's your confirmation that one, it's impressing, but also homeboy is coming to you quickly, immediately, and he is already completely in love with you. Great job. <laughs> You've been affirming. By all means, believe in that. That being said, I'm not gonna lie to you, I do love a good pick a card YouTube video. <laughs> there are some people out there that I have found who are, I think, very good at seeing the good side of the cards and hyping you up in a way that can just kind of lead you more confidently towards whatever you're manifesting. And those I agree with and I like and it's fun, but I'm telling you, the moment this girl is reading something that I don't want to hear, I'm like, oh, I guess I just picked the wrong card. I'm going to start. I'm going to do a different one. <laughs> Only watch these type of things when you're in a good mindset. If you want to have fun with your friends and go see a psychic for Halloween, it's fun. It's spooky, but it's not that serious. And that's why I'm saying you need to be careful. And I'm really stressing that you need to be careful because I personally have a friend who was seeing a psychic and she was emotionally manipulated by this woman and scammed out of too much money. <laughs> and I don't want this to be you. Do you ever wonder why anyone that you've ever talked to went to a psychic and then came back saying, this person predicted everything perfectly? It's because the psychic is then pushed out. It's not because the psychic randomly came up with this off the top of their head then they predict something and then that thing ends up happening. Yeah, it's because you, you, you hear what a trusted person is saying and then you manifest it. I don't want you to be placing any power into anyone else's hands besides your own. If you believe in the law of assumption, because you're here, so you do, remember who you are. Be smart, be careful, have fun with it. Don't fall into scams. Don't fall into these traps of tarot video after tarot video on YouTube unless you know you can handle it. You don't have to believe everything you hear. Do not fall into desperation of letting somebody tell you your future because you really just need to know if it's gonna work out with a specific person or if you're ever gonna actually be a millionaire. Yes, you are. If you keep affirming, you have it. If you are not in a high enough mental state, then stop watching it, stop falling into this trap, and go affirm. Affirm, 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 affirm. That is the only way that you will actually 1000% get your desire. It's not because anyone else outside of you is telling you you will. You've got to stop looking outside of yourself. Nothing is creating for you. You've got to stop having more faith in the cards and the stars and other people than you have in yourself. Stop taking advice from anyone who is not living the life of your dreams. Why would you take advice from anyone who has not done what you are wanting to do or does not have what you want to have? Then you're just following the advice that's leading you to their life that you don't even want to experience. Only follow your own advice and your own desires. You do not need any validation from outside of you. And you do not need anything else to manifest except your mind, your mind. Have more faith in yourself than in anyone else. So that being said, let's all take a deep breath together. Hold it and let it out. And repeat after me. I am the only operant power 
of my reality. I am the only operant power of my reality. It is already done. It is already done, baby. Thank you all so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if it made sense to you. I intend that it did. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments down below. If you have any success stories, leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in a future video. Oh, and happy Halloween, you guys. Okay, bye.